all of the strategies used in reaching Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students are also applicable and useful in reaching students outside that equity group. A maths lesson is also a language lesson, and this is particularly important for Indigenous students who are bilingual or multilingual. So the Yagara words for one to five demonstrate beautifully a mathematical pattern in words. I like to get students to bring in some of their collectible items. We use a tally chart and their tally marks that they've used previously in maths to count the items in their personal collection. I prefer to have them do it in small groups or in pairs. We can eventually start compiling them as a whole class. The number line is great in representing for students the probability that each of them will be able to collect each of the characters in their collection. I use the game Twister as a fair game example. We use an area model to list all the possible outcomes of this game. The area model is a visual guide for students to organise their thinking about possibility. We can assign a number estimate based on our probability calculations using the probability equation. I encourage them to consider some what-if scenarios. Twister also gives students an opportunity to collect data to compare with their area model. They develop a theoretical probability and then through playing the game they develop an experimental probability to compare. I love this quote from the book Dark Emu by Bruce Pascoe. It beautifully highlights the use of probability thinking by Aboriginal people in Victoria prior to colonisation. This is a challenging primary text for grade five students to process. I would use a strategy like I notice, I wonder to support their literacy learning within this maths context. What data is Janor Jack basing his conclusions on? Students can identify things like seasons, weather, plants. There is also evidence in this statement of long-term data collection. Using this quote within a maths class conveys authority to Indigenous knowledges. Another consideration for students is how was this data collated and communicated over time. This then links with a practical experience for students in creating stories out of their data. How can they share their data in words? As teachers we have a responsibility to apply social justice aims to our teaching strategies. In teaching all students, I think it's important to remember the cultural bias of mathematics and to give children the tools to identify that bias. So when looking at probability, that means introducing them to the Russian mathematician Andrei Kolmogorov. He's the father of the theory of probability. And what a fantastic character for kids to know. When he was five or six years old, he noticed a pattern in this simple equation. Students in grade five know how to recognise patterns like this. So it's a good reminder for them that maths is a pattern seeking language. As a child, Komogorov developed a probability question in a little school newsletter that he used to write in. And it's a great opportunity to use this for an assessment item for students because it was written by somebody their own age and somebody who's an expert on probability. It requires students to apply their learning and to creatively problem solve. There's only one solution. However, there are multiple means to reach this outcome. So this is an open-ended question. It allows students to choose whether they wanna solve the probability problem by using an area model or a probability tree or both. There's an option for a written word response explaining how they got to their answer as they have already done when they looked at um, Indigenous fire management strategies. Students could also include a drawing that demonstrates all the possible outcomes, or even use some real buttons and string to demonstrate or test their outcomes. And ultimately, students could even come up with their own mathematical probability problem, just like Kolmogorov, and then pass it on to a peer to solve it. And this could even be passed around with each student undertaking the task differently or adding to the previous student's work. Peer connections are important, particularly when working with Indigenous students. The shared reward of successfully completing the task assists students in their learning.